will stop abortion and contraception. The introduction, this presentation is about Mary Stop. The team members are Zara, Salam and me. It will include Mary Stop biography, uh, what she did, and how she has contributed to help the woman. Reference that we checked out a website, these two websites where we found all the information about her. Uh, Zara will start talk about uh, Mary Stop biography. My presentation is about Mary Stop. Uh, Mary Stop was the daughter of King Mary Stop and uh, Charlotte Carmichael. She was born on 15 of October 1818 in Edinburgh. Her her mother was the first woman in Scotland to go to university and got a certificate. She was suffragist and she was support, uh, supported the suffrage campaign and she joined the women's freedom Jacob. Her father, uh, Henry, was a distinguished scientist. At the age of 18, Mary Stop won a science scholarship to go to university and uh, go to university and to study at, uh, to study at the University College London. She studied paleobotanics and she went to Manchester and uh, she became the first female member in science faculty at university. She was talented and committed student. She graduated with the first class bachelor science in 1902. She obtained her doctorate in science and became uh, Britain youngest doctor in science. In 1911, she was married but her relationship quickly broke down. She has one son, he is a British uh, philosopher and he is and also, he is a vice president of um, Human Humanist Association in London. In 1921, she opened a family planning clinic, and she joined. She is the first birth control clinic in Britain around four weeks. It's the first in the country. In 1925, the clinic moved to Saint uh, She wrote two books. One was the Married Life. It's about feminism and. She argued that marriage should be an equal relationship. And her second book was about birth control and abortion. With her first book, she had a great difficulty to find a publisher, and she some people rejected her. After that, she after that um, she found a small company and she was successful. She died of breast cancer in 1958. However, that is not the end of her story. She was voted the woman's event. My colleague said I will present up a conversation and my story. I'm going to tell you about what she did. Mary Stop has many women every year uh, with the rest of health service, including abortion and contraception, which I'm going to explain to you about. And there are two types of abortion, abortion pills and surgical abortion. The abortion pills look like a normal pills. Woman would, the woman like to take it and let like a period. The baby would get abortion. Basically, the abortion pills are, my colleagues will show you the pictures, uh, are like a, like a headache tablets. You just take it in the clinic and you go sit on the toilet or you go home with the pill and have your mollies on or sit in the, in the toilet and wait for the blood to come. For the next one is the surgical abortion. The surgical abortion is when the pregnancy is more than 12 weeks and they may have to cut off the baby out because the baby by then is uh, formed. It has a head, it has head and hands and legs. So they have to have surg surgical to, do, to remove the baby by cutting his head, his leg, and his hand, which is a bit difficult and it's a bit risky as well for the woman. But if she wants to do, they will do. And the next one 
next thing I'm, I'm going to talk about is the contraception protects against disease and pregnancy, which I, I'm going to talk about the six contraception, the IUD and the IUS and contraception, injection, contraceptive implant and condom and the pills, which my friend should show you around. And the IUD is it's a hormone-free contraception method. It's made of copper and plastic, and it is fitted into the uterus, which stops transmitting an egg and stops fertilizing. The IUS is the small device which is fitted into the uterus. It's a bit like IUD, except that it slowly releases a little bit of hormone from progesterone. Uh, <coughs> injection is an injection which contains a hormone projection which stops eggs being made in trans. This last this is not good for me. And the last one, contraception implant. The contraception implant is a small flexible rod about an inch long which is inserted under the skin of upper arm yes. and it works by releasing a small amount of the hormone production to stop an egg from being released each month. This lasts up to three weeks. And the, the condom in the pills, which my colleague will show you, is <laughs> 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 about her book, 
because have all information about sex, because sometimes uh, people didn't talk about this because didn't feel comfortable to talk about sex. Uh, sometimes you need to uh, listen more information about that. Where you can find the planning uh, association, uh, family planning association, in school, in hospital, probably where you can find this information. Uh, more. Uh, Mary Stop, where is right about sexual revolution? She is right about that when she is playing. Um, basically, is uh, the woman is open the eyes, uh, and uh, you don't have problem to talk about that. Uh, Mary contribute massive, massive value to the gradual growth of more open attitude to sex. The Church of England has said the need uh, for birth control. The U.S. Supreme Court had removed a ban on contraception. I will give just one example. This example is me, because I'm a woman. Example <coughs> simple. Um, when I was 17 or 16 years, uh, my mom didn't talk about sex with me. When I need uh, information about sex, Okay, I really talk about this in school, but uh, in my friend, but uh, I need more information but because in school is basic information you have. I think, okay, I will went to the GP where I went uh, to GP I talk with nursery. She explained me everything about sex, how I can prevent and protect myself. And this moment, I told him, yes, I'm happy. <laughs> but I understand my mom because I think she didn't feel um, comfortable to talk about this with me because uh, I, she has religion, same for me, culture, and education. She's, she's transmit with me this. This moment, I have, uh, I have my child. I don't know when he will be 15 or 16 here. Uh, I don't know, I will feel good to talk about sex because I have my culture, I have my religion. Uh, probably I will uh, say to him, okay, go to the GP or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, some questions?